Hello and welcome to my 10 web review where I'm going to be giving you a demo and overview about how this AI website builder works. If you'd like to test them out, I will leave my link down below. You can actually get started for free and follow along with me. So let's do that first. What we want to do is when you're arrived to the main homepage is click on generate your website. So from here, I'm gonna give you two quick overviews. The first one is going to be cloning a website with AI, and then I'll go over to creating a new website with AI. So, so here's how we can clone a website with 10web. Let's simply click right here. And given the fact I already have an account, what I'm gonna do is just enter in another one so I can show you from scratch how this works. So if you're following along, simply enter in your info here and you can follow along with me. So here's where we can start creating with AI. All we need is the URL that we wanna recreate. So I'm just gonna use my website as an example. Very basic, but you know, let's say I wanna clone it and then go from there. I'm gonna put this URL in here, give it a second or two to load. So once it's confirmed, we are good to go. Let's click on proceed. And we wanna give it some time. What it's gonna do here is install a blank website, recreate the layout, add the design elements, add the finishing touches, and then it's gonna be done. So once this is done, I will get back to you and I will showcase you the difference or how it looks when it comes to cloning a website, so the before and after. All right, so now that we're done, let's simply click on preview and edit your website. All right, and so here is the cloned website. So very similar to this, I have done a tutorial previously, it came out identical. The only difference here is gonna be like the text and the formatting and some of the space. Here it also didn't add in the logos, which is fine. That's something you can add in if you wanted to, but I think it's great that you can actually create a website and just start with a great template, go from there. Obviously you don't wanna go around copying everyone's website. You can run into some big trouble with that, but in terms of getting up and running, having a template that you can utilize from say a site that you like where you can edit it around completely is gonna be a nice little start. So here's gonna be the after. So now that I showed you how to easily clone a website, that was a pretty simple process, right? Allow me to show you how you can create one with AI and just giving it some details and information about the site that you want to create. Let's click right here. So for this, you can create an informational website or an online store. Let's go for an informational website and let's give it a type. Simply click here and then you can scroll down and see the type of website that you want to create. So for this, we saw like online trainings could be one, counseling services, e-learning. Let's go with e-learning here and next. Obviously choose the one that's going to be most appropriate for you and what you have to offer. So for this, let's give it a school name. So I'm just going to use it as my brand. We have Marketing Island and describe your school. So we offer courses for online business owners, helping them generate more traffic, leads and sales. Let's click on next. And here are going to be the three main classes. So this is also like the features depending on the website that you have. So we talked about digital marketing, social media management, and SEO overall. I'd say that's pretty good if you're helping with traffic leads and sales. Those things are probably going to come up. So that can work very well there. So I think that's fine there. Let's simply click on finalize. And of course, once again, I did want to start from scratch. I will show you a website that I created and edited, but until then, I'm just showing you the various aspects when you can get up and running. So if you haven't yet, you can just sign up with Google or enter in your email address to continue on for free. I'm going to do that and then we will carry on. All right, and similar to before, it's just going to run through some things that it needs to do, creating a blank website, a home page. We have the service contact and about pages, preparing the layout, generating the content of the website, generating the images, and making your website mobile friendly, and then, of course, finalizing it. So you don't have to worry about a lot of those things, which is great. And the fact that it creates multiple pages for you, like these services, the contact and about, is a nice little touch. After this is done, I will get back to you, and we'll see what we've got. All right, so everything is now finalized. We can simply click on preview and edit. All right, so not so bad as we have the learn the art of digital marketing with Marketing Island. So we have the color palette as well in case we wanna change that. Say we wanna to go to like ocean blue, there's Safari. I do like the ocean blue, very similar to Marketing Island, right? We have our green and blue there. Scrolling down, supported by whatever that's going to be. Some logos you can change. Uh, we help you unlock your business's potential. Uh, grade programs, and this is what I was talking about before, what we can edit. Remember, it could be traffic leads and sales, digital marketing, social media. This is gonna change based upon what your niche is, like I've talked about previously in another video. If you're into, say, weight loss or just health in general, one could be like weight loss, one could be muscle building, one could be nutrition, you know, just think of the three biggest pillars of what your brand or niche is, and that's where you can put those in there. Uh, why you should choose us, 
Uh, obviously, if these aren't going to be correct, if you don't have 75,000 plus students, that's fine. You know, you can obviously delete that. Uh, some instructors, you know, maybe it's just you. And as it talks about where you can sign up, they want you to be able to utilize the free trial in order to edit it. That is something I do already have. So what I am going to do now is actually jump onto my plan where I have this available to use. So I can show you what the drag and drop AI builder is going to look like along with concluding my review to 10 web. All right, so here I am when it comes to the 10 web AI builder. Very easy to use. It's a drag and drop builder, and it's like what you see is what you get. If you want to edit or change everything, anything, excuse me, it's very easy to do. Simply move your mouse to the section that you would like to edit, and if you'll notice, once you are clicked there, you can just simply go in there. Maybe I want to capitalize that, right? Maybe I want to capitalize this as well. You can also edit it over here as well. So we have your online business. Maybe you want to make it smaller so it can be that style. Same thing, there's gonna be some other fancy things here. We can do like write with AI if you wanted to do that. You can simplify it, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, you can fix the spelling and the grammar. Really gonna be up to you. Also, the element section right here, this is gonna be where you can add new sections. The new container is just like saying another section. Aside from that, the things that we can drag over are headings, images, videos, dividers, buttons, spacers, Google Maps, and icons. Scrolling down a little bit more because I know some of these can be very helpful. It's nice when there's containers, say, for testimonials because you can just drag them in and then easily edit them as opposed to trying to like make them yourself. Once again, this was something I talked about previously. Maybe you don't have this many, but maybe you have, what is this, marketing insights? How about lead generation, our successes? Maybe you're just starting, so you have like 11. There we go. So now that's going to climb up to 11 because you have that. Now, if you want to delete something, let's say there's something down here we didn't like, you know, pricing, maybe you don't have any courses yet because this is a different website. We go to the X, simply click on that. Same thing with the pricing modules. We don't need those, so we can hit X. Let's say we made a mistake and we're like, wait a minute, we're going to be selling courses. It is nice because they do have an undo button here. I really like that. So that's gonna allow you to maybe save some time. There's been drag and drop builders that I've used in my lifetime, whether it's like a landing page or a sales funnel where there was no undo button and it was a nightmare because if you deleted something really big and you didn't save it, you gotta go back and do it again. Speaking of saving, if you wanna do that, it's gonna be up at the top right, so that makes it very easy to do. What's also good about 10web is the fact that it is also mobile optimized, so whether you're gonna be looking on a tablet or whether you have a, a mobile right here, so you have the little Hamburg icon where you can choose some of the other pages that you go to, you'll notice that everything fits nicely as you scroll down, nothing is like out of whack or out of space or whatever it's going to be and so on and so forth. So as we scroll down a little bit more, let's say we wanted to add something into it. Like I said, it's as simple as adding a drag and drop. So let's say we wanted to add a video. We can put this right here and you're gonna notice that's gonna be our video. So if we did wanna edit this, this is where the link is gonna to be to the YouTube video. There's start time, there's end time, there's gonna be some video options, which is nice. So if you wanna autoplay it, maybe you wanna autoplay it and keep on mute, maybe you wanna loop it so someone is always going to be able to see it. Lazy load is also great. Uh, when you use lazy load, that means it's not gonna load until someone gets down to the video. So that'll help you, that'll save you a lot of time when it comes to making your page load faster. So if you have a ton of images, this is something that's often used on images, they won't load until someone scrolls all the way down to them, as opposed to when they arrive on the page. If they didn't, that's what's really going to slow down your website. So it's good that they have a feature like that overall. And with that being said, everything else is just about business as usual. If you want to add something, you know, you want, like I said before, you want to click on it. And this is going to be where our links go. So this would go say www.aol.com. Disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty of it, but that's where your link would go. If you want to say open it in a new window, you can do that. If you want to add no follow, you can do that as well. I recommend opening in a new window because if they click on this, it goes somewhere else. Once they are done with that new window or tab, they still have an opportunity to stay on your website and maybe search for other things maybe courses, maybe more information, maybe it's gonna be an article that's important. Whatever it might be, that's just my tip for that. Nevertheless, that's a very quick overview of their drag and drop editor. Pretty simple to use, especially for the fact that 10web is gonna set you up for success by creating that framework of your website to begin with so you don't have to worry about a lot of the heavy lifting. With that in mind, here's my 10 web review conclusion. And what I'm gonna do is just keep the pricing up just so you can kinda get a good idea of where you're gonna start when it comes to 10 web. Keep in mind that if you do pay annually, these are gonna be saved up to around 50% on this. So that's just something to keep in mind, but they start off at $20 per month if paying monthly. So 10 web emerges as an exceptional solution for anyone venturing into the realm of website creation, particularly catering to beginners and those facing challenges in navigating the complexities of building a site from scratch. 
Its standout feature, in my opinion, would be their AI-powered website builder, which significantly simplifies the website creation process. This tool not only accelerates the development of a website, but also ensures that users with minimal technical know-how can achieve professional-looking results in little time. The platform's user-friendly nature is further underscored by its intuitive drag-and-drop builder. This feature, as you saw, allows for easy customization and layout adjustments, making the design process both simple and enjoyable. Users can visually construct their sites, dragging elements across the canvases with ease, which is a boon for those intimidated by coding and complex web development tools. Last but not least, I want to touch upon the 10 web cloning website feature. That functionality is definitely beneficial for anyone looking to replicate successful website layouts for different projects, or maybe for anyone who just wishes to use a proven template as a starting point for their website. As I said before, just make sure you don't go out and completely copy and paste someone else's website, as you can definitely get into trouble doing that, especially when it comes to trademarks and copyrights and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, it's a feature that can definitely save you a lot of time. In conclusion, I would say that 10 Web stands out as an ideal choice for beginners or anyone who finds the task of creating a website very daunting. With its combination of AI-driven design, user-friendly drag-and-drop functionality, efficient cloning, and attractive pricing, 10 Web addresses the common hurdles faced by novice website creators. It offers a straightforward path to establishing a professional online presence, making it a solid recommendation for anyone new to web development. And that should conclude my 10 Web review. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you got any value out of this be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out as well and if you want to try out 10 web for free i will also leave my link down below in the description my name is james thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video